Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at global colors and gradients in Illustrator. Now, if you've never used global colors before, let's have a look at those first and then we're going to have a look at the special case of gradients. So I've got a shape here. It's just filled with a regular purple color. This one's filled with this orange color and this is a gradient made from this orange and this purple. We can check that by going to the gradient panel double click on the end stop and we'll see that that's exactly the same purple as we used in this shape. In this one, it's the exact same orange. Now these are plain colors. You can tell that they're plain colors because they don't have little triangles in the corner, which would indicate that they would be global colors. The issue with plain colors is that when we change the color, nothing happens. So if I click on here and change this color, I'm just gonna turn preview on, you'll see that nothing happens to the image itself. But if that was a global color, then things would change. Let's create this purple as a global color. I'll select an object that's filled with the purple. I'll go across here to new swatch, and I'm going to create this as a global swatch. You can see the little check mark there is global. Now global is, it's exactly the same color. It just behaves a bit differently. So let me just click away from that shape. I've got nothing selected at all. This time, let's go and change this color. I'll double click on it and I've got preview turned on. And as I drag across, you'll see that the color in this shape changes even though the shape wasn't selected. And if there were lots and lots of purple things in this document, every single one of them, if they were colored with that purple color, that is a global color, then they're going to change too. But notice here that this gradient did not change. Let me just cancel out of there. Now for the gradient, what we could do is actually create that using global colors. So I've got my gradient filled shape here. Let's go back to the gradient panel and let's change the gradient. So I'm going to double click on this and instead of using a plain color, I'm going to use a global color, exactly the same purple. It's not going to change at all, except that being a global color is going to change its behavior when we actually change that global color. So let's go back to swatches. Nothing is selected here. Double click on this purple turn preview on and now because this gradient is set up using a global color it's also going to change. Now let me just cancel out of there because you cannot create gradients themselves as global colors. I'm just going to select this shape and I'm going to add the gradient as a gradient to my swatch when I click the plus sign you'll say that the only option I get is to name the swatch. There's no option for global color. So gradients cannot be global colors, but gradients can be made up of global colors. And so what we did here was create this gradient so that the purple was a global color. The orange isn't yet because we don't have a global color for the orange. So let me just select on this. Let's go and create that as a global color. You can see it's global here. Now, when we go back to the gradient filled shape, we can go and change the color stop here to instead of being a plain orange, be a orange, the exact same orange, but a global color. Now, because it's a global color, it too will change when we change that swatch. Even though the element that is colored with that global color isn't even selected, nothing selected here. Let's double click on the orange, preview it, make a change to it and you can see that everything is updated. Now I have a duplicate of that document because I want to show you something about creating global colors from artwork. Last time I created this purple as a global color, I selected it and I clicked here on this plus sign and then I did it for the orange. Let's see the different behavior when we select everything. So I'm going to select over everything this time, the purple and the orange and also the gradient filled shape. And you'll see that I can't click that little plus sign there for new swatch because I'm not about to create a single swatch. I'm about to create multiple swatches. Instead, I get an option for a new color group. So let's click here. The option for new color group allows me to create a color group from the selected artwork, which is all of this. And I can convert process color to global so I can make global swatches at the same time. Let's click OK. Now I get two global swatches. You'll see that the gradient hasn't been created as a swatch, so it's not actually a swatch in the swatches panel. But these colors here have been created as global colors. Let's see what happens when I change the purple. 
because we created swatches from the artwork, we've actually, in this process, we've converted this gradient from a gradient that was created with just plain old colors to a gradient that's created using these global colors. So in essence, we've been able to shortcut the process. So you can have gradients that incorporate the use of global colors, but gradients themselves cannot be global colors. So when I select this, and create it as a swatch. It's just going to be a regular swatch. It's not a global color, but it is made up of global colors. So when I double click on this color, nothing selected, change the color, the gradient itself is going to update. So I hope that helps you in terms of creating artwork that is easily updated. So for example, this could be a flower with a gradient in the petals. And if you want the ability to be able to change it really, really easily, then set that up using global colors. If you don't do it when you first begin and then realize later that you need to do it, well, you know how to do it. You just select over everything including the elements that are colored with a gradient and then create your color group from that, making sure that you select the convert process to global option as you do so. And that will add a new color group, global colors, and in the same process, convert any gradients that use those colors into gradients that are using global colors so that they will update really easily. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and that you've learned things about Illustrator of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.